Hey guys, in this episode, I'm going to talk to you about the menu builder and kind of how to create a menu for your app using the Voyager admin. So let's go ahead and dive in and check it out. Okay, so let's show you how to use the menu builder in Voyager. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the menu, click on tools, and go to menu builder. And as you can see, we already have a menu, and that menu is named admin. And this is the admin menu that we are actually using over here on the left side. So you can see we have dashboard, roles, users, media, and all the other menu items over here on the left. So let's go ahead and create a new menu, and then let's go ahead and display that on our site. So I'm going to create a new menu, and I'm just going to call this main menu. Then I'm going to go into the builder and I'm going to add a few menu items. So I'm going to say new menu item and I will just call this home and this is just going to go to the home route and I can choose an icon if I would like and you can check from the Voyager fonts all the icons that are here and you can optionally show an icon on the front end of your site. But for now I'm just going to go ahead and leave that blank and click on add new item and then I'm going to add another item and maybe I'll just call this about and this will go to slash about and I'll add that item. And let's do two more here. So let's just say categories here. And then we'll say slash categories and add that menu item. And actually, let me add two categories to the categories menu. So it'll be a drop down. So let me go ahead and just say devices. So then we want to, this to go to category slash devices. And let's go ahead and add another one. And let's say that we want this to be, I don't know, under $20. So slash category slash under 20. So let's go ahead and add that menu item. And now we can actually say that we want this device to be inside of the categories and the under 20 to be in the categories drop down as well. So now that we've added this menu, then let's go ahead and go to the menus. And you can see that we have this little helper here that says, we can use menu display and then we can display the name of the menu. So let's go ahead and just copy this and let's go into our resources, views, and let's just open up the welcome page here. So let me go ahead and just remove these links and I'm just going to echo out menu display and we named this main underscore menu. So let's go ahead and save that and let's go to the home page. So if we go to the home page, you can see nothing pretty, but it prints out a basic unordered list of our menu. So we can then stylize this however we would like in our CSS. But there are also a lot more cooler things that we can use with this menu builder. So we can also build a bootstrap menu. So what we can do is we could actually just pass a second argument and just call this bootstrap and it will style all of the menu items with the bootstrap styles. So instead of adding that there, I'm actually going to just copy this and open up our app.blade.php and inside of the default bootstrap that comes with the Laravel authentication, I'm going to add this right here. So I'm going to paste that in and let's go here and let's go to the home page. So if we go to the home page, you can see now that we have home, about, categories, and if we click on that, now we have devices and under 20. So you can see that we could just create this new menu in the back end and then we could say menu display and we could display an unordered list that is unstyled or we can even display a bootstrap styled menu. So next, let's say maybe that you want to style your own menu. Well, you can do that by actually passing a view to the menu display. So let me go ahead and show you an example of that. So let's say maybe that I have a new view here and I'm just gonna call this, save this as nav.blade.php. So then I am going to just go here into my app and instead of bootstrap, I'm actually going to specify the view. So I want this to be the nav view. And if I go ahead and just echo out items. So if I reload, then sure enough, we have all the items right here in front of us. So what we can do is we can actually just create an unordered list and then we can just loop through each of these items. So I could say for each items as item and then we could end the for each right here and then end the unordered list. So then we could just print out the item 
And let's take a look at this. So we have item, the attributes. So we have ID, menu ID, title. So let's just go ahead and print out the title. So we can say item title and then list that out. So this is just going to be an unstylized, unordered list. But let's go ahead and reload. And now you can see here that we have the list right here. Maybe we actually don't want to include that right there. Let's include this inside of the body of the page. So we reload this and then we have all of our items right here and we can display our menu items with our own template. So that's just the basics about how you can add a menu to your application by using the Voyager menu builder. So I hope you found this useful and I will talk to you in the next video.